I've wanted to do this for so long. It's 300,000 subscribers! <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> Right, we have a live studio audience today. What's up, guys? Today we're going uh, we're going light on the news and heavy on the fun. We have so much good stuff to talk about today, uh, from the M2 processor to some iPad Pro news, and of course, we couldn't forget about. Um, I forgot about the third story, but there's a third story in here today as well. Drop a like if you guys are excited, and of course, hit subscribe for more because then we can be at a million subscribers soon and turn on that bell for notifications. All right, first story. Um, I'm gonna be honest; it's kind of a bummer. <laughs> You know, I don't love being a buzzkill. I don't like it. It's not something that I have a proclivity towards, but I do have to tell you the news. And sometimes the news is just out of the gate, not great. So yesterday, Apple had their earnings call for the previous quarter. And I don't know why, but I always see like these really weird reactions on Twitter where people like journalists and like tech fans are like, yo, dude, did you see Apple made money again? Like, bro, bro, Apple's made more. You see in this Jim? Jim Apple, they, they made money. Tim Apple, he's doing crazy stuff. I don't know, maybe I'm just so immersed in the culture at this point that I don't get it or I've like lost the, the earnings hype. But uh, yeah, I mean, the biggest company in the world made more money. Wow. That's a headline, whoa, okay. See, the thing is, on these earnings calls, while they're generally about the financials and numbers and how services just keep growing, they also mention tidbits from time to time. Like last year, they had said, like, the iPhones are gonna be late to let everybody know that it wasn't gonna be September. It's probably gonna be October, November, which is exactly when they came. The tidbit that we're getting this time is that there are likely going to be some product delays, especially in the second half of this year. Now, a report came out from Nike Asia, who's actually been spot on lately. They've been killing it. Good job, guys. A week or two ago, they said, hey guys, the iPad and the Mac lines are having shortages, but they didn't go into a ton of detail. They were just like, some parts for each are, are not ready, and primarily it's due to a chip shortage. Long story short there, I think we've talked about this briefly, or maybe it was on my podcast, Genius Bar. There's a global chip shortage happening right now due to COVID, um, which it doesn't make the most sense because like COVID, you know, you know, I got my second shot today. But um, I, they apparently are having issues making chips still and that is affecting not only small players but huge companies like Apple too. On the earnings call today, Tim Cook confirmed this. They said broadly that iPad and Mac would be affected but they didn't go into details. I would say since like the iPad Pro uses M1 and all of Apple's new Macs are gonna use some variant of like the M series chips that producing those is probably pretty hard which leads me to believe the products like the new 24 inch iMac are gonna be really hard to get soon. It sounds like the things that were in production at the end of 2020 are like okay, and we know that the iMac was technically supposed to launch then, it just wasn't ready production wise. But now that it is ready, Apple's got a, a decent amount of stock initially. Well, like if you want these computers or a new iPad, I would say buy it now. Like I, I don't wanna go too crazy and be like, if you want it for Christmas, buy it now. But it does seem like this could become quite problematic. So I just wanted to, sort of PSA this for you and be like, hey, if you want these products, I wouldn't wait because stock is only going to get tighter as the year moves on, especially. Okay, you know, I'm not going to be putting on my Christmas decorations of Walmart just yet, but it's April. Like we're a third of, we're a third of the way through 2021. Oh my God. But let's be honest with ourselves here. Does this guy really look like somebody uses protection? I mean, just look at him flapping in the wind. <laughs> He doesn't use protection, I use protection. That's why I use WeVPN. See, the guys over at WeVPN came from all the other VPN companies that were doing sketchy stuff to make a product that was fundamentally better. And this month, they're celebrating their anniversary, which means they've introduced the two years plan that includes two months for free, which means you're only paying $2.69 a month to access all the premium features, over 50 server locations, and access to BBC iPlayer, Hulu, Netflix, all your favorite streaming services to unblock the content you want. And just for I update viewers on top of the anniversary deal, you're getting an additional 10% off at checkout when you go to wevpn.com slash iUpdate. So my challenge to you is this, whether you just heard about a VPN today or you've been using a different one for years, if you like me, if you trust what I do here, then go over to wevpn.com slash iUpdate and get started today. And while we're on the topic of chips, we've been talking about like the M1 or the M1X, but have you heard of the M2? Because apparently 
That's what's gonna be in the new MacBook Pros that come out sometime this fall. In another great report from Nike Asia, they talk about how Apple has right now started production of the M2 chip. So like, we, we know the M1, we love it. It's in like every Apple product basically at this point. It's so good, but like, it just doesn't have the power yet for like high-end creative or ex engineering, explorative, explo math stuff. And it really shouldn't because you know, it's the base chip. Like if you've noticed what Apple has done, they're replacing all their base computers with the M1, the higher end stuff, the 27 inch iMac, the Mac Pro, the 16 inch MacBook Pro, the high end Mac mini, all of that's on sale with Intel still. Why? Because Apple doesn't have a suitable replacement just yet. And that, that's what the M2 chip is gonna be. I mean, we've seen some leaked benchmarks for what was gonna be M1X, or now it looks like it could be tentatively named the M2 chip. Uh, I mean, marketing wise, Apple can pick whatever they want. I don't think that's the, the point here. The point here is that we've heard the M2 slash M1X is in production, the next big M series chip, and that they plan to include it in new MacBooks at the very least in the second half of this year, likely, in the fall. See, the thing is, the antidote that I gave you earlier about the M1 being like the best chip ever, but at like a baseline level right now, it really applies to me. Like there are two things I am more excited this year for than pretty much anything else. It's the new iMac and the M1X slash M2 chip, just because I love Apple Silicon so much. I just want like a little bit more power. And I do want to point out here that Nike Asia specifically says MacBook models. Like they don't mention an iMac, which is a little sus and concerning uh, that like we haven't heard what chip exactly is gonna be in the next generation iMac lineup. I assume it's gonna be the same thing in the high-end MacBook Pro lineup because it seems like Apple's basically doing like same chip for all base products, same chip for all medium tier products, same chip for all high tier products. That seems to be the strategy and I'm so hyped. Like I am waiting. I got my iMac, I'm happy, right? You guys know I, I was like standing that iMac before it came out. And now it's here with M1, which is fantastic. Smile through the pain. You know, I'm just I'm just ready for the little little cherry on top. And you know, I didn't realize it until now, but the third story, also basically about the M1 chip, but more specifically about the new M1 iPad Pro, which I don't actually think I've talked about that much here or anywhere. And as you can see right here, um, I had this recorded. I had this whole bit about how there were rumors of like an iPad Pro launch. And then literally hours later is when Apple just confirmed the dates, but it happened in a really funny way. Like Apple came out with a press release just a few hours ago. Reminding everybody that pre-orders for the new iMac, iPad Pro, and Apple TV go live tomorrow on Friday, April 30th. And generally, they've just been saying second half of May. Like, even though pre-orders go live tomorrow, they haven't given an exact date. Well, uh, <laughs> that is until they, they accidentally leaked it on their, their UK press page. So if you go to the source code for that press release, you guys know how to do this. You can like go on Google Chrome and do the source code stuff. I wasn't able to find it now because I think they've updated the page, but they have the date there at 9 to 5 Mac and many other sites have a screenshot of this showing Friday, May 21st for the launch. And this appears to be for everything. As you can see, they say it's for Apple TV, iMac, and iPad Pro. It's not just like one of these products or one of these things, and we don't believe it's just gonna be like in, in markets outside of the US. It's gonna be May 21st. See, but oddly enough, where Apple said, hey, like at 5 a.m. PST is when pre-orders go live for AirTag and the purple iPhone, they haven't provided a time just yet. So, uh, um, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't like that. I don't really like that because, um, that means I might have to stay up for a long time. I don't know if I'm gonna get up. I'll be honest. I, I hate the morning pre-order dates. I'd much rather stay up till 2 a.m. Central time than wake up at 7 a.m. Central time. Like that just bonkers. But, uh, yeah, if, if there's a time that comes out that's reputable, I'll tweet it out at iUpdate. So follow me there. But like May 21st for the new iPad Pro, that's, that's like a month away. No big deal, you know. I'll just be chilling. I have 300k subscribers, you know. I I'm good. But anyway, wanted to teach you guys uh, the latest Apple news. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for subscribing. You guys are the best. You've allowed me to achieve my dreams. Um, not gonna get too sappy or heartfelt, but I love you. And uh, subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> I love you guys. See you in my next video. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'm gonna go celebrate 300k. Let's go.